Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and it's our weekly angelic message for the week beginning August 30th, 2021. As I'm sitting here recording this, something really terrible has happened in the world. It's not shocking. I think a lot of intuitives were picking up on, you know, the, the events that are happening in the world that are meant to wake us up. And of course, you know, what can I say? My, my absolute love to everybody who was involved in that and especially to those who lost their lives. As I was sitting down, you know, I am acutely aware of that uh, as well as other things going on in the world, so much so that I couldn't even keep up with commenting on it and trying to offer emotional support. I don't know about any of you out there, but I've been feeling drained for about a week, inexplicably so, just, you know, a lot of, you know how that goes. If you're sensitive, you just kind of have, like, there's just something kind of in the air, right? And then this happened. So what I am supposed to relay here is the way to, as we as humans would call it, combat this awareness for one but we've been severely stalled out in awakening people are more competitive with one another than ever we see people turning away from real friends real love partners for their image or believing gossip from evil people families who maybe we're always dysfunctional and not very healthy with one another, completely going off the rails. We've seen a lot of people flooding the spiritual community, We've seen this for years, looking for answers. And that resulted in a lot of people wanting to pick up tarot, which is wonderful. If you have a real connection to it, but some are treating it like it's a game. Like manifestation is a game. We have a lot of responsibility here if you are a sensitive person, an empath, intuitive. There the responsibility is realizing that there is I'm gonna watch my language here <laughs> there's been this conniving energy around spiritual practice now this is not new people have been using this to siphon off people for forever to have a sense of superiority over someone else when it comes to readings and get them very dependent upon them again that's not news <laughs> right but the problem is now where people are coming in they know there's a there's a soul ping there's a I've got to do something I don't understand this connection I don't understand why I don't feel good with the plan I had in place for my life I don't know why I feel sick all the time I, you know and they come to spirituality Again, I want to be careful. I want to make sure I'm really putting this correctly. They come into the spiritual community and they want a quick fix or, you know, we see that as evidence as people are like, quit talking so much in these videos. My videos are not as popular and I'm okay with that, please. <laughs> I'm fine with that because I don't sit here and do fortune telling. You guys know that. But how is this connected to some of the things that are going on out in the world? I know what you're going to say, this is quite a leap, Michelle. Hang with me. This is the message. We're feeling the calling to do our spiritual work, but then we just get on to the scene like it's a playground and start playing. Amazing. I manifested, I manifested chocolate one time. Like for real, I did. <laughs> you know, and we get so dazzled by that. But what we're not doing we're not getting grounded in any sort of real practice. Therefore, you're not doing the real release. You're not doing a karmic release. You're not doing a pattern clearing. 
You're not healing wounds or traumas. You're playing. Not you, but you know, people, <laughs> right? And I, I bring this up to this specific audience here because a lot of us are on the same, if you want to see it as like a mission, it sounds so dramatic, but we're on the same mission, right? We have very similar uh, life paths where we are supposed to, I bet a lot of you were born into a very dysfunctional family, right? And you were the scapegoat. Uh, I bet a lot of you have come across a potential love partner and uh, this is a common one, it's not healthy, but you see the good in them, you just want to bring that out, but they reject it because whatever. They're just not ready, not courageous enough, so on and so on. And with friends too. We're supposed to be holding presents and I know a lot of us out there are doing that and trying our best. But it, again, it's like no one's coming in doing the real work. I'm struggling with this too, guys. Remember, I'm just taking it in and trying to interpret this. So the danger behind this is that we are going to be caught playing when the storm comes. The storm has come, the lightning has struck. I'm about to beat a metaphor, you ready? The lightning has struck and we have all been like, ooh, that was a close call. Are we good? Are we normal again? Great, let's go back there and start acting the fool again. Can't do this, okay? I'm a spiritual practitioner. I was one of those weirdos, like I see dead people, you know, <laughs> one of those things when, ever since I was a kid, I would like sleepwalk and, and talk of sacred geometry and try to give the warning call that we needed the numbers to complete the square for the, <laughs> for the codes and I, mean, I was I was a weird kid um, so I shut that down for the longest time and even sitting here in front of you now I'm still healing I'm still releasing I'm you know going through my spiritual practice it's not easy it's not fun all the while trying to keep up with whatever's going on in the world and trying to have this community here where I can be there for other people too. And all of us, it's not just me. Like, I just kind of set up the platform. We are a family here. So anybody who's been drawn to this specific audience, you know, we, like I said, we all have a very similar path. We need to stop entertaining the foolishness. Michelle, that's so mean. Like, what are you saying? You're above it all? But I'm not saying I'm above it all. I'm saying I take it seriously. Because here's what's about to happen. We're going to see more of like what happened today. And remember, this is just, I have to call it speculation. I feel like it would be on American soil or somewhere close. The threats are all around, but you can't pinpoint it on an idea, a group necessarily. Because those lower, like low hum frequencies exist all around us and even within us. That's why I say we need to stop tolerating treating spirituality like it's a game. Stop treating love like it's a game. Stop treating sex like it's a game. You're not gonna hear me. Well, you guys will. Anybody else who stumbled across it, what is she even talking about? She crazy. <laughs> no, I mean, that's sacred energy. And love is the most sacred gift that we can experience in human form, besides a like, connection to the divine, right? For too long, we've done Maybe we want to see it as passive. I don't know. Uh, this kind of thing. Well, people will figure out their way and all this stuff, and it'll be fine. But we've been enablers. We support shallow things. I'm not encouraging people to go out there and be the spirit police. <laughs> right? Or be diminishing or anything of the sort. But if someone... If you're a reader 
I know how much pressure there is to give people what they want. I know how much pressure there is to be like super detailed. You can't be super detailed in a general reading. You have thousands of people watching. You're just gonna pick up on whatever energy is the loudest, right? The, the biggest, like, you know, frequency. Let us all, and I'm gonna work on being better at this too, let us all step up, dig deeper, and let it come out the way it needs to come out. Because one of the things I'm feeling right now is that a lot of people have shown up to be the messengers, to be the healers, to be the interpreters. And yet, a lot of us are afraid. Now, we are under the confines of the world as it is, to some extent. These platforms are watching everything that we're doing. And if we don't wanna get taken down or have another bogus warning put on our channel or what have you, we have to watch what we're saying, but you can still put out a frequency. There are going to be readers that will scoff at that, who don't care. And you can apply this to anything, even if you're not a reader. I mean, you know, if you're in an office environment, can you stop participating in the gossip? I can't even tell you, guys, I've used this example before. I went through, like, I would call it traumatizing. <laughs> like, it was traumatizing um, how, I don't know what their deal was. I don't know if they were sociopaths or what. But really trying to paint me like this horrible person. Until I finally said enough and I broke free. And, uh, you know, started this and started living more authentically. And disconnecting from there. Really, it was bizarre. I'm not even going to touch that. Not even gonna go there. But where can we show up and be more authentic is the bottom line here, okay? Um, and even if you, because I know when we say that, a lot of us are thinking, well, that means I have to speak up to that person. I don't, if it, you feel out your own situation, if you feel like speaking up is the right thing to do and it's safe to do so, fine. But I don't think we're all in a safe zone. Things are too wobbly right now. What we need right now is that introspection. I would highly recommend if you have something hanging over your head, especially, you know, because it's all about relating to one another. So if you have this thing that's just kind of hanging there, um, I would highly recommend you make amends, try to make peace. I've had situations hanging over my head. I'll just, you know, you're not alone. <laughs> let you know I've done that too. And it's just hanging there. And I have reached out to the people to try to like make amends and they're sticking their noses up in the air and saying, I'm not talking to you, I guess, or whatever. We, if you run into that, we need to heal that. You see the theme here? We need to heal. So it's not good enough to come in here and lightly talk about crystals and lightly do, oh, we're gonna do card reading. <laughs> like, you know, just treat it like it's all a game. When this is here to spark us, to crack us open, to help us look at those aspects that are unhealed within us, to take care of ourselves so we can take care of one another so that we are not divided we're not getting low on light we're not getting fed upon and we can get ready for the coming times there will be attacks maybe war disease I just heard corporations will fall. There will be weather events, natural disasters. And I've been saying for a long time too, you know, it's like I keep seeing ocean animals. They're really, you know, crying out here. Um, and they're saying, do not allow yourselves to be divided and watch criticizing one another. I'm guilty of that judgmental and criticizing why well maybe I'm a pain <laughs> maybe um, but I'm scared I'm scared one more person is gonna get at me I have to heal that I'm scared that I can't trust anybody but that's not true I just have an awareness that how these thought forms have kind of infiltrated us 
it makes people act out in very crazy ways and we're going to see more of it. This is the time to do those clearings. Cord cutting, sure. Don't get lazy. Oh, I cord cut it one time and I still had problems. <laughs> Girl, did you, or boy, man, what, dude, I don't know. Did you vacuum your carpet one time and you expect it to stay clean? Can't do that, okay? No, we're talking like a deep, maybe even karma clearing, um, clearing in, in, Prints, implants. Um, again, I keep saying thought forms. That's what keeps coming up. Thought forms. All of you watching this have other guides that are coming in right now. You do not know them. How about that? Every single person who sees this video, you have a minimum. I, I, everyone's different, but I feel a minimum of two new guides coming in. Angels. This is no joke. And if you're somebody who's super logistical and you just love watching this stuff just to make fun of it, uh, careful. Just because you don't see the energy or understand the frequency or understand what's going on here doesn't negate its existence. And yeah, you're beautiful. You're beautiful like the rest of us. Because you showed up with your blueprint functioning in the way that you need to function, you're going to teach us something and we're going to teach you something. And it's okay that we don't agree or that we don't see things in the same way. I'm saying all of this and it does, because everybody needs to be spoon fed everything. That's the thing. So I bet I'll get the comments like, yeah, this was all over the place, but I'm going to sit with it. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of information here. But look at that as an example. Look at how people want everything just sort of dwindled down, easy to eat, easy to ingest, easy to take in. And I'm telling you, it's not good enough anymore. We just can't do that. We have to be ready for the coming times. And if you're one of those people, your brain just like clicked off and said, ah, fear mongering, fear mongering. I have to comment that because that's what we do, right? We're in a time where that energy is getting shot back at you. And then you're going to wonder, why am I not getting along with anybody? What happened to that whatever, whatever that I was working on? It's because you're blocking yourself. No one's doing it to you. You're doing it to yourself. Now, see, if we all kind of understood energy a little bit more, we would get that. Be nicer to each other. <laughs> but this also goes into, um, you know, a, a message, especially for empaths, that everything that you have learned and studied and you, you've applied and you're out there, you're, you're doing your best to help people, there's more information coming in. These guides are here to help us with that next level. And that's exactly what's happening. We're all leveling up and just like in the past, people don't always respond well to that, okay? So that's what we need to be ready for, is what I'm getting at. <sighs> Make peace, even if it's in your own heart. I'm telling you, if you're somebody who has just, again, your blueprint is to live a very logistical life, you don't have to be spiritual, <laughs> right? Or you know what I mean, like you don't have to like, you know, as, as you might say, buy into everything that we're saying. Think of it as just being kind. Think of it as being considerate. Think of it as, how can I help people? How can I show up? How can I, you know, put my energy to better use? How can I send love to somebody who might be in need of it? Okay. Watch the arguments. I swear to God, do not argue over politics or everything else that's going on in the world. You argue over that, you're feeding into it. And it's hard, especially those words are coming out of my mouth. I get so feisty about things. <laughs> I'm opinionated. I'm strong. <laughs> okay. I'm a life path one numerologist comment down below. Uh, but you know, I mean, that's going to be hard, but I really am feeling like it's time for us 
to really start breaking down our barriers and breaking down our walls. And that only comes from facing the stuff that we keep pushing away. Every single one of us has an alternate reality to what we present out into the world. Okay, uh, that's a lot. Let's do our little tradition here and get onto the cards. For sure, we're gonna be using the Michael deck for this week. Now remember, these are actually, I'm gonna start with this deck, but um, you know, these are in fact timeless. Uh, so feel free to go back to any video on here and see what's coming up for you, what you can pick up on. Yeah, and they're saying recognizing your triggers, it's really imperative we start doing that. And I don't know about some of you, like I've had some weird stuff happen. I literally was just um, getting ready and the lights above my mirror just inexplicably started flickering and then they went out. And I was like, did the power go out? What just happened? And then I walked out of the room and they came back on. So I don't know, but that's been happening a lot. And it's usually, and I'm not sitting here saying, I'm like, wah, 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 making the lights <laughs> flicker. Maybe, I mean, we know how energy works, right? But I notice it's when I'm having, I don't want to call this. Any of you out there, you have a sudden remembrance of something that doesn't exist here or you have a remembrance of what love is really supposed to be. I have not settled down into a relationship because somewhere in me, I remember what real love is. And the people I've come across, it just sort of touches on it. It, it doesn't go into that deep connection. So anytime that I've had those kinds of thoughts, I notice my lights flicker. <laughs> it's just, it's just very bizarre. And I would love to know, again, since we're all kind of on very similar life paths, of course, in like different expressions, but uh, comment down below if you've been experiencing that. Okay. September feels like a crater. I know. That's a weird thing to say, but it, it literally feels like the energy thins and it dips down. And uh, you guys gonna give me that now? I mean, it, it's more, there are gonna be things that shock us that we've never seen. Is that for you to get scared? I'm like, oh my God, no, because what's gonna happen if you found your way to this video? What's gonna happen is you see right through it. This is not encouraging conspiracy theories, okay? Don't just make stuff, I'm, I'm not saying that, okay, listen, hey, yo, I'm not saying that the conspiracy theories out there that they're all wrong, okay? But some people uh, take it too far. And if you're somebody who's been labeled a conspiracy theorist, you know that kind of narrative that starts to happen that makes you look bad, right? It makes It discredits what you're trying to say. Um, but yeah, there are things that you'll see right through. It's not encouraging suspicion. Make sure that you're anchored. This is why spiritual practice, true spiritual practice. I got to level up my spiritual practice as well. We all do. That's why it's so imperative. That way you can trust your intuition. That way you can trust your heart and the intelligence coming through your heart space. Not just letting the brain tell you because it's exciting to think, ooh, I bet there's something going on here. Yeah. And fabricated stories meant to harm. That'll start. What it is, is it's, you know, people, um, people getting exposed. That's why it's really imperative for you to make amends. Because better that you go to somebody and work something out, then have it come back to you times 10 and have it shoot out. Does this make sense? Have it kind of shoot out and like you get exposed and I don't know, but messy. I thought that said intuition. It says intention. <laughs> okay. So there is that. And you know, this goes right into where we put our focus. You know how this goes, right? Whatever we focus on expands. 
strength. We're going to need a whole heck of a lot of this. A lot of strength. So watch where our thoughts are going, of course. But more, where are your emotions? Where are your emotions? If you're uninspired in your life, if you're feeling drained, especially if you're, I was just giving the example, like, you know what true love is. You feel it. You, you remember from a, another time and place or something. And what you're experiencing in your life doesn't fulfill you. I'm not saying go off and everybody get divorced. Uh, don't, don't put that on me. Uh -uh. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like, let's say you are single and you're getting a lot of pressure or judgment for being single. Remember this, you know what love is and you're not settling for anything less than that. And if anybody tries to pull you down over that, it's usually because they're questioning their own choices. Should I have waited? Did I do the right thing? Yeah, that sort of thing. Okay, freedom. Oh, sorry. This ring is really heavy. It is, it's a Hespera. Not these earrings, but most of the jewelry you see on here that you guys freak out by, it's Hespera. It's like pure um, citrine. The whole thing is a rock, like literally a rock on my hand. It's heavy is what I was getting at. Anyway, <laughs> freedom. So there's a lot of debate, especially here in the United States. If you guys don't know, you couldn't tell by the way I'm speaking. I'm an American uh, and we're supposed to be all about freedom here but we've got some authoritative things happening. That's not a political statement, guys. That is watch people's behavior. Watch how people think they have a right to run over other people and whatever. Well, I mean, you can argue that left, right, and center. Like, look at anything. That's why I say it's not political. It's just kind of a thing. You know, my body is mine when it comes to reproductive rights, but not in other areas. No, it's not political, okay? <laughs> it's, not, it, it's just food for thought, okay? Perception. We're getting fed a lot of uh, sort of, let's call it pre-packaged perceptions. And now uh, it's time to take the kind of final bow on that. Like take your final bow, take the mask off. Everybody needs to stop playing these persona roles, okay? I already did four, but let's do another. Power. Do I even need to say much about this? Power struggles over freedoms, over perceptions, over twisted narratives, over things that people don't want to face. And people, you know, this is this is a powerful one, the intention card. People are saying, well, I care about people. That's why I want da 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 <laughs> But what's your real intention? Again, not, not most of you, but people out there, what are their real intentions? They just want to feel right. They just want to feel right. Even if that stomps all over somebody else's rights or sovereignty. And watch, there's going to be tons of narratives coming out of, oh my God, if you really cared, you would do this. And it's not, it's not about the thing that you're thinking of. <laughs> Give me something else. Uh, think surveillance. Oh, but it's for a good reason. Come on. Let us in there. Come on, Michael. Come through. Uh, I have not done another meditation challenge. I've heard what you guys have said. Someone requested Raziel. Someone requested Muriel. Um, happy to do those. Uh, Raziel, I think a lot of you would be very um, intrigued by him. He's sort of the magician. Well, as we would think of it, <laughs> magical. Magical archangel. Um, rainbows, higher wisdom. You know, like that sort of like getting everything, getting a very balanced uh, or an, an archangel that helps you balance your energies. I guess that's a better way of putting it. And so many other things. But also Archangel Cassio. I still have not done Gabriel. Um, let me know. Let me know. So far only a couple of people have given me feedback. So I haven't really moved on it. I want to see what the rest of you uh, are feeling. Thinking Jeremiah. Jeremiah might be a good one. For past lives and life review. Ariel for prosperity. 
nature, Shamuel for higher heart, Jophiel for beauty and higher wisdom. See, all kind of goodies. Your children are watched over by the angels. Listen, there are a lot of children out there who are not in very fortunate circumstances right now. Hug your children. Hug your children. And remember, even if you don't have children of your own, you are a parent to every child out there that needs that loving parent energy. We can break through these supposed barriers here in that way. Okay. And I, I do feel too that there's going to be some concern for kids. Well, there already is. I know some of you are going to be commenting about masks and things like that. Um, they're watched over by the angels. It's going to be all right. Is that a jet? Jets have been, I'm in Colorado Springs. Jets have been very active today. That was a motorcycle. Where's that thunder? Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm like all over the place. It, it suddenly got like the end of the world outside. It was sunny and now the clouds are like black. Weird. I'm doing this and that. Whatever. I'm not going to read into it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> going back to the kids. Kids are going to be all right. Dear guardian angels of my children born and unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Especially for the kids in Afghanistan. Okay? And everybody. Every child everywhere. Every child that has now seen floods and earthquakes and fires and war and... Okay. Uh, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. Especially if you are sensitive. Especially if you are somebody with a blueprint where you are that philosophical, creative, spiritual person that's connected to the divine. We are the parents of every child actual children and inner children okay so you know these children are not going to be in our midst they're going to be across the world or whatever but we can send that love to them that's our job we need to make time for that okay detach from this situation now remember these these are during virtue cards from like ages ago and that kind of goes back to when, um, you know, spirituality was all about magical thinking, right? And enjoying the fun of it. Not necessarily. I mean, it was more connected than that. But I'm saying, like, that's how some people approached it. Um, and again, if you're a beginner in spirituality, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to come for you and say, you need to go deeper, like, right away. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying some people just kind of stay in the shallow end and just, you know, think that that is getting them somewhere, right? And, and it is time to go a little bit deeper. All right, so detach from the situation doesn't mean I detach because I'm too precious to watch the news. Then you're not doing your job. Now, I'm not saying sit there and soak it up like it's the last water on earth, okay? But you need to be aware of what's happening in this human story because we are being called to... It is thunder! I knew it. Why the heck did the thunder... Like, seriously, it was so sunny and beautiful, and then we start talking about end times I don't know um <laughs> not really but anyway when we say detach from the situation it means go within get introspective um you know not burying your head in the sand okay Archangel Michael I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me in this situation so that's spiritual sidestepping do not as those words say. What, what we can invoke Archangel Michael to do is to help us not get uh, so emotionally carried away that now we want to fight, we want to compete, we want to own people, we want to see what they get to do and not get to do and all this stuff, right? And let us have clarity in heart and mind and uh, know how to show up. That's the most imperative thing, all right? Longest video ever. Uh, depending on how much editing I can do get done quickly, I may release this early, but who cares? You would already know that by the time this goes up. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. I am sending you all so much love and take care.